Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hachua and in this video, I want to share my experience with some fragrances I've not really liked for the most part. I wanted to give them a chance to see if they'll grow on me. A few of these fragrances form part of a pile I wanted to declutter. If you have, you know, followed my channel, you know, I recently was able to sell about 10 fragrances I wasn't utilizing and give four out, you know, and this pile were part of the, the whole thing. And uh, before I decluttered this, the, the other fragrances, I wanted to test them out and be sure as to if I'm not going to miss them or there was no need for me to keep them. And these ones were part of it. But for some reason, they are still here. I did not declutter them. So I'll give you the reasons why I did not, you know, oh, the reasons why I'm holding on to these fragrances and um, how I feel about them currently. And the first one is going to be from Latafa, the African drama. I tried to sell this fragrance, you know, because... I still do not, it, it feels very synthetic to me. I sort of like the packaging, the bottle, the concept, coconut. I'm not a huge fan of coconut fragrances, you know. If you are very observant, you would notice that a lot of my fragrances are not coconut based, you know. But I had very high hopes for this because of the, maybe the packaging, you know, that exotic woman between the drum and everything. And I sort of, you know, fell for it. Only for me to get this fragrance and was totally disappointed. It's been about four months at this time or particular time and I still do not like it, you know. The last couple of weeks I've been testing it to see if I have changed my mind. Has it gotten better? I think it is so much better, so much smoother, but it's still not at the point where I would appreciate it. I don't, I don't see myself wearing this fragrance ever and I tried to sell this one. And you know, when I tried to sell, I gave the opportunity for the people to test all these fragrances and nobody was interested in this one. I don't know. Nobody seemed interested. Anytime they, they, they tested, they were like, mm, no, not for me. You know, so I feel like I'm sort of stuck with this one. I might give it away eventually, you know, but the experience though know, has not been positive because even when I wanted to sell, nobody was interested, you know, and that goes to tell me something about this particular fragrance, you know. It's it's being reported to be inspired by the one and only, um, the one and only by DNG, you know, the black bottle. Some have likened this to Soleil Blanc. I don't see the resemblance. No, I don't see them at all, you know, so I'm sort of stacked with this particular fragrance, you know, I, I would eventually give it away. I don't feel I want to sell it because it is not a fragrance I would personally gift out, you know, because of the experience I've, I've had with, with it. So I wouldn't want to gift this fragrance out. I wouldn't want to sell it, but I would rather gift it, you know, eventually. So that is going to be this. I still do not like this. The next one here is going to be a fragrance. I know I... <sighs> Nobody should please be offended by this, you know, but this is one of the few fragrances from the Body Outwood line that it is very mass appealing, but I never was excited about it. I don't think I've utilized Subline in the last one year or so, you know, maybe eight, nine months. It's just there. I like it. It is okay. It is normal. It is mass appealing. I think Apple, I don't know, you know, but it's never excites me, you know, in as much as people say it excites them, eating apple juice, you know, clearly, I have a decant of that, you know, a tester that I bought from clearly and I have like a bunch of them and this was part of it. It, it. It smells alike, but even the original one doesn't excite me as much, you know, so I've barely used this fragrance, you know, I tried so much to like it when I initially got it, but no matter how I try, it, it still doesn't call me. I, I barely use this, you know, fragrance. So eventually I'm just going to either sell this one off or give it, you know. But revisiting it after more than a year in my collection, it, I'm still not excited about it, you know. And um, I think it is time to let it go. Eventually I'll just sell this one off, you know. So that is a sublime by Latafa. The next one is going to be... This is going to be a decant, not um, an actual full bottle. And that is going to be caramel wood, you know. I wanted to revisit this because I remember the first time I spoke about this, I only had a decant and I, I never bought a full bottle, you know. The first 
review I did was quite a positive one. I was excited about it. It smelled different to me. It didn't smell like any other thing. I felt like it had the potential to, you know, change to something amazing. So I was excited about it. I gave it some very positive review. But when I did my life after maceration, you know, where I had experienced this for about two months, you know, down the line, I gave it a negative, you know, um, review. And someone was almost fighting me at the com comment section. The person was so pissed that I gave this a uh, negative review. And that is just my, my personal experience. This smells like poopy banyadi with... Um, caramel and the caramel is not that realistic or you know those candy caramel it it doesn't give me a gourmand scent you know and i've also heard some reviews where people have been praising this fragrance i think i've seen a couple people praise this it's a no for me i still maintain what i said in my second you know life of maceration i guess for like it is not for me, you know. I, I see myself as someone who likes her skunk and her, you know, her unique fragrances. But this is a little too unique for me. I think it's been likened to one niche fragrance, you know. I think a lot of people have mentioned that to me. Guess that I have, have forgot, forgotten about what exactly it's inspired by. But Caramel Oud from Adas of Run is supposed to have the notes of Caramel Oud, Praline, I think Tangerine, Pineapple. I don't get anything fruity. I get a hint of that caramel. But that's the animalic nuance. It feels poopy. It's it's like some coffee caramel with some banyadi, but that fecal banyadi nuance. That is what I get, you know. And no offense, I know a lot of people smell things differently, but that is my experience. I still do not like it i don't think i'll ever own a full bottle of this you know um in in theory it sounds amazing caramel and oud but personal experience it is a no so after revisiting this i don't think i'm ever going to revisit it, um this fragrance you know i i'll just probably give it to someone or throw it away you know but I don't think I'm interested in going back to test it again because I know what I know and nothing is going to convince me otherwise that this fragrance is a good one. So this is Caramel Oud from Adas Fran. The next one that I think at this point, I guess have to throw it away or give it to someone is I Am White by Latafa. This was gifted to me, you know, like two years plus. I don't like this, you know, I don't like it. I try to test it again and again, and it's the same experience. I don't get that, you know, intense um, fruit bowl like the Eva Pura. I don't really get it. It's more of that synthetic mask, you know, the fruit does not really shine through. It doesn't give me that, you know, Eva Pura, like a hundred percent. It's 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 in that, you know, same family, but it is inspired by it. You can really tall it is inspired by it but this is a bit too synthetic it's a bit too musky a bit too it's just not me you know so this i'll let it go very soon very soon and i move on to a decant i got which had potential this i got with blueberry max this is going to be cranberry max you know i really wanted to give a full dedicated video but i never did because the fragrance never excited me i think i did for blueberry max because i was excited about it you know but when i tested cranberry max i decided to go with a decant to try it out first because it didn't really speak to me in the shop you know and i'm so glad i didn't get a full bottle because it didn't it, it has not wowed me you know i think the last time i tried it was like yesterday even this morning gets a spritz on my hand it still doesn't wow me i can barely smell anything barely it's like very diluted like barely there I, I i don't smell anything like is it even a fragrance it's been it's macerated i don't think I, this is i got it as a decant so i assume it was already a bit macerated and i've had it for about three or so months now and i can barely smell anything not the cranberry not the mask nothing I don't know. It, it doesn't smell like a realistic cranberry fruity scent to me. It's like so watery and diluted that I personally feel it is not worth it. You know, it is not. I don't know. But to me, it is not worth it. If you have it and you have any positive ex experience, you can share it. But for me, I don't think after revisiting this, I'm going to. 
I'm never going to use this one. I'm never, because it, it won't do anything for me. So that is Cranberry Max by Arabiat. The next one I have here is a fragrance. I was advised to let it sit for one year. You know, someone advised me to let this fragrance sit for one year. I'm almost at one year at this point, you know. Um, Max is great. I'm almost at one year, but I don't see myself wearing this even after 10 years, honestly. So synthetic. Has it improved? Yes, it has, but it's still very synthetic. It, it was it was sort of sold to me as a deep for or inspired by Max Therapy. And then later on, I think I've had a few people telling me it's not inspired by Max Therapy, but something else, you know. And whatever it's inspired by, I guess wonder what the original smells like, you know, because this one doesn't smell anything nice it, it, it doesn't come across as a as a fragrance it's more of a back spray something you know insecticide it gives me that vibes it's been about nine months or so now and every time i visit this fragrance is the same old experience it, it has improved yes i'll give it to that it has improved tremendously but it's still I don't think it's still going to be that fragrance i would love to at least wear it once in a while no not even a once in a while or being at home not even that experience i i don't want to just have that experience because it's still very synthetic it's still very back spray to me so uh, revisiting it probably this is my last my last time you know i'll wait for one year you know one more like exactly one year to see what what happens but this is a no for me. Max is great by Zumaya. The next one I have here is going to be um, Care Pistachio. Care Pistachio, you know. I also got a decant of Care Pistachio. I, I've never been excited about it. It's okay. It is lovely. It is, you know, feminine and everything. But there's this dusty quality I smell. You know, there's a dusty quality about this fragrance. I don't know but maybe it's just not my taste it is just not my taste i think this has been in my collection for around three four months now you know and once in a while I'll just give it a spray and see how i feel about it and as of now i still don't see myself getting i don't i don't think i'll even get through this decant i don't think i'll ever get through this let alone getting my, getting myself a full bottle that is that is the truth, you know. I don't see myself gravitating towards this. There's the sense profile by itself had a sort of, you know, potential for me, but probably it is just not me, you know, and I can't just try and try and try, keep revisiting this, trying to convince myself to smell what others are smelling to be able to enjoy it. I don't smell what others are smelling, unfortunately. So care pistachio from Paris Corner, it's a no for me, you know, but I understand the hype. I really do get the hype. So yeah. Okay. And the next one I have here, which is going to be the last one, is from Fragrance World. And this fragrance has macerated for more than two years. Rose Midnight, you know, very affordable. One of the most affordable, you know, it's Fragrance World. And to this day, I still do not like this fragrance, you know. It's supposed to be La Nuit Tresor, even from the bottle and everything. It's supposed to be inspired by that fragrance. It is not. It doesn't give me that. It gives me something like very mild rose water, you know. It's sort of improved, you know. But after two years, you expect that the fragrance would really macerate and get so much better. No, you know. So just imagine having this for the first one or two weeks there it's basically nothing to write home about you know i wouldn't advise personally if you ask me i wouldn't advise or recommend any of these fragrances i am speaking about you know although some of them had potential and it's also my 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 taste you know when it comes to fragrances it's just that um i don't gravitate towards some of these you know and the few that i felt i gravitate towards didn't also work out for me so that those are going to be those fragrances um i think um five full bottles and three decants you know they just didn't work out for me and i don't think i'm ever interested in revisiting these fragrances you know so i would most likely sell it off you know and if people nobody buys them off me i guess gives them out you know and i hope whoever i gives them out enjoys them because i did it and that is going to be it for today and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye, -bye.